Law, Everybody Loves Large Chests, Valder 10, by Nevin Ilyev continues the darkly comedic saga of Boxy T. Morningwood, the ever-evolving mimic whose insatiable hunger for magic, mayhem, and chaos drives its adventures in a fantastical world. Due to the complexity and depth of the narrative, this summary is a high-level overview, condensing many of the book's plot points and characters. As the story unfolds, we find Boxy T. Morningwood, now a powerful force to be reckoned with entangled in new layers of intrigue and conflict. Boxy has grown significantly from its beginnings as a standard mimic, possessing a complex personality and a diverse set of powers that have allowed it to overcome a variety of enemies and challenges. Crafty and resourceful, Boxy continues to navigate through the world's perils, driven by its insatiable cravings and a need to secure more power and influence. Boxy's companions and subordinates, including Snack the Succubus, Arms the humanoid mantis creature, and Carl the ooze, each have their own developments, contributing to the overall dynamics of the story. Snack, deeply loyal and more than a simple minion, grapples with her feelings and her role by Boxy's side, while Arms experiences growth and challenges in her capabilities and understands herself and her place in Boxy's hierarchy. Carl, Still somewhat simplistic in thought and loyalty, nonetheless undergoes his own form of evolution and understanding. The plot of Volume 10 delves into intricate interactions with human societies and other sentient races of the world. Boxy's alter ego, the dashing and charismatic ambassador Cora Morningwood, is used to maneuver through social and diplomatic situations, manipulating outcomes to Boxy's advantage. Cora's role allows Boxy to infiltrate human politics and gain precious information and resources, often leaving chaos and confusion in its wake. Boxy also faces a multitude of perilous challenges as it attracts the attention of powerful entities and organizations. These include rival adventurers, mages, and other monstrous beings that see the mimic as a threat or an opportunity. Each confrontation serves as a catalyst for Boxy to display its might, cunning, and adaptability. One of the most significant developments in this volume is a looming conflict with a power organization known as the Order of the Sacred Flame, a group dedicated to purging the world of monsters and dark magic. The Order perceives Boxy as a menace and a prime target for elimination, presenting a new level of threat that requires more than sheer force to overcome. Romantic subplots and relationships among characters, both new and old, add an element of depth, intrigue, and sometimes humor to Boxy's journey, though they are often twisted by Boxy's peculiar chaos. The backdrop to this adventure is a richly detailed world with its own history, cultures, and magical systems. The author continues to expand on the world building, offering glimpses into the functioning of different societies the motives of various factions, and the intricacies of the prevailing magic that underscores the world's balance of power. In this installment, Boxy's growth is not just physical or magical, but also marked by an expanding awareness and intelligence. There is a noticeable shift as Boxy starts to grasp the complexities of emotion, relationships, and long-term strategy, although it is still primarily driven by its primal desires. As the mimic becomes a more nuanced character, it begins to question its own existence and purpose beyond mere survival and hunger. Amidst all the chaos it creates and encounters, Boxy continues to level up, gaining new skills and abilities. In particular, its shape-shifting and magic usage become more sophisticated, allowing it to take on more challenging foes and situations. The Mimic's relentless pursuit of growth often leads to comical scenarios and unexpected solutions that are both creative and highly entertaining. Boxy's machinations culminate in an audacious heist that combines its vast array of talents with those of its allies. They must infiltrate a heavily guarded location to retrieve an artifact of tremendous power that will serve Boxy's insatiable need for magical energy. This operation showcases the ensemble cast's synergy and the diverse abilities that Boxy has accumulated, testing their limits as they face formidable defenses and a cunning adversary. The volume's finale is a crescendo of action, wit, and spectacle. Boxy confronts the consequences of its actions, both immediate and far-reaching, as it faces the full wrath of the Order of the Sacred Flame. The clash results in a display of Boxy's might and cleverness, but it also reveals vulnerabilities within the seemingly invincible mimic. 
Through strategic retreats and unexpected alliances, Voxy manages to survive the ordeal, but not without losses and lasting implications for its future escapades. Ultimately, Law Everybody Loves Large Chests, Volo 10, continues Boxy's legacy, filling it with unpredictable twists and turns juxtaposed against a background of increasing complexity. The volume draws to a close with Boxy emerging more powerful and influential than ever, setting the stage for new adventures and an even wider scope of chaos and power plays in the magical world it thrives in. Boxy's journey is far from over, and the mimic's insatiable appetite for magic, craftsmanship, and shiny things promises to drive the character toward ever greater heights of infamy and strength. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.